<laughs> but Jim, you are a part of one of my favorite basketball memories. And yes. I used to go to the Kingdom games on Friday night, Kingdom. and I remember watching the eighth grader Lance Stevenson specifically dominate out there and homicide. And explain homicide. to Jalen, explain to Jalen who does who wasn't there, wow. the environment oh, yeah, in those what games. Are, what are you watching? Oh yeah, so, uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. see, uh, well, well, first of all, uh, Kingdom was in the middle of Foster Projects, and Foster Projects is one of the most notorious gang-banging projects that uh, start in Harlem and things like that. But this this basketball tournament was was one of the things during the weekend that bring a lot of unity together within the hood. And these are some of the tournaments where I seen Cam start cooking cooking dudes up on the basketball court, and I can name so many after that. And like he said, Lance Stevenson started out there. We was talking about Ron Artest and them earlier. Um, you go on for for uh, the Jones brothers, Charles Jones. It's, it's just so many greats came out of out of Kingdom Park, just the excitement, man, you know, and, and that's my hood, that's where I grew up at. Yeah. Well, he's referring to is how you was just walking around the basketball Yeah, because I had to go there, no. I mean, like, why is Jim Jones, is he in, he's not playing in the no, game, no, he's, he's not pulling strings, the Jacoby, he's just walking, I'm pulling strings, this is, like, in the middle of the play. This is, my, that's my backyard, like, you look out the, like, that's where I grew up, that's where I grew up playing, that's where I learned how to play basketball at in the middle. I wasn't of the walking through the floor, I was staying yeah. quiet in the corner, just watching. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's good, you know, you, you make, you get some success, and you come back to the, to the hood, and you know how I go, man, you trying to shine, and I, that's what I was doing as a young fella, but I, I, I love my hood, I love Harlem, so, you know, that's the whole. Basketball is a big thing, a, a big, big thing in Harlem, especially in the summer times. It's Rucker tournaments, it's Dykeman tournaments, it's King Dome tournaments, and that's all through New York in general and things like that, so, you know. Yeah, like the way right now, to be honest, is Dykeman. It kind of quiet down mm -hmm. from Rucker. Everybody goes to Dykeman now, but basketball is just really big. It's not really a football town. You know what I tell people when I learned, to, when I started traveling and went away to college to play ball, is that we just don't get tall guys in New York, man. Everybody knows how to dribble. <laughs> like, if you hit somebody with a cross and get a ooh, that's like worth 12 points. <laughs> you know what I mean? So, you know what I mean? So, you know, we don't get a lot of tall guys, but uh, we definitely know how to dribble and shake somebody and, uh, and go to the basket. We didn't have a lot of jump shots even back then, but, but it's definitely fun to play basketball in New York. Everybody wants to come here and play. As veterans in the industry, it always fascinates me how talented people like yourselves are able to reinvent yourselves to stay relevant. Mm -hmm. Can you just talk to our audience and even future artists of like how you've continued to progress as an artist, as a man that had to stay in power, each of you guys for so very long? Oh man, I mean, you gotta stay ahead of the cusp, especially when you're dealing with a game that's, that, that, that's kind of like have, has a high school mentality. You gotta be able to reinvent yourself. You gotta be able to persevere through the hard times. Like it's, every day is not gonna be a lit day, especially when you have so much of a long span of a career. You gotta know there's gonna come with some up and downs, but overall, being lucky, the grace of God, and, and, and putting your best foot forward. As cliche as it may sound, I and mean, work hard, but we grind, we, we grind real hard for, for everything we got. I tell you that, it's been a lot of sleepless nights that we put on to put food on the table for the family. I ain't gonna lie, like, that's a great question, Jay, because you don't know how many times I'll be in a mirror with different outfits of furs and hats. Like, <laughs> now nah, I'm going to change up this one. I'm going to have everybody start doing this right now. <laughs> That's the case, man. Oh, they want to do this? Like, nah, this, we want to reinvent the reinvent. It's not easy, man. <laughs> it's not, you don't know what you got to do. You don't know what fur you got to use to reinvent. You got to put your head or around your neck. I just bought some skins the other day. Like, I'm looking at, I got a fox where I'm trying to put some eyes in it. Like, it's not hard, it's not easy, man. As far as music, though, I think that comes so natural because we've been doing it so long and, you know, growing, growing up and just in a, you know, in a, in, I, we all lived in a radius. And um, as far as me, and you don't realize the talent you grew up around growing up. Like, I grew up directly across the street from from uh, Big L. I grew up two floors from um, Max B, who um, Jim has signed. Mm -hmm. I grew up from, I don't even know if y'all familiar with Ali Mo, yep. uh, two, three blocks away from me. I grew up with Sham Gar, who coaches for the Dallas Mavericks now. So act the real two blocks away from me. So it's like this melting pot of so many different things in one little area that you have to stay ahead of the game. Even like getting fresh, like I'm God bless the dead, my brother HUD, and even Jim, 
we would sit there and think we killing them because we may go get the Gore-Tex before they got it. Then by the time you get to him, he got the Gore-Tex. You know, this is, I'm talking about 14 year olds with $180 sneakers yeah. when that was just ridiculous to have at that particular time. But like you said, just trying to stay ahead of the game, but it, it's not easy, baby, because <laughs> right now everybody's just doing anything to get attention. Yeah. So. Yeah.